Clay, I mean, even on weigh-in day, you're always bringing the energy, and I appreciate that. Uh, 39 years old, but you were telling me this week that you feel better than you did at 25. Are you doing things differently, or are we just is, are you Benjamin buttoning us over here? Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on the show, Miss Laura. I appreciate everyone, all the fans at ESPN. Um, yeah, we get younger with age. We're pushing 40 in December, and I'm in better shape now than I was 21, in better shape when I was 25. And um, I tell you what, I think we found the fountain of youth, fishing, wrestling, live music, um, all those things, and just being around a great team at Team Alpha Male, all the coaching staff, the trainers, our teammates, um, we're very, very blessed. That's a good formula right there. And for this fight, you know, you draw a tough opponent, Marco Madsen, um, quite the wrestling pedigree, three-time Olympian, a silver medalist. What did you think when you first saw his name? Uh, congratulations to Mark Madsen on all of his uh, Olympic accolades, but those aren't going to save you now, buddy. So if you want to start running, that's cool, because guess what? I'm going to catch up to you anyway, especially carrying the red, white, and blue. Um, we were um, really intrigued about this matchup because we're not wrestling the silver medalist, uh, Mark O. Madsen. We're simply fighting a very inexperienced Mark Madsen, um, who is a mixed martial artist. And we have probably as many uh, fights as uh, him and his, uh, his opponents combined in mixed martial arts. And um, not sure if you guys checked the stats lately, but we gotta, we know how to do a thing or two about wrestling in there, a couple of takedowns back in our day. In our day. So uh, we're pumped about this matchup, and uh, we're going to come show you guys what it's all about Saturday night. You sure do have quite the penchant for wrestling in the octagon. We talked about his pedigree. So given both of those factors, do you feel like, I mean, this is going to be a fight where you guys get in there and bang it out, or is this going to turn into like a Greco-Roman versus folk style battle? We're up for everything. Um, I hope this dude can stop a takedown. Um, I know he's a big uh, Greco guy, but... Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna show you guys what we've been working on over at Team Alpha Male. Um, Coach Joey Rodriguez and Coach Danny Castillo, they got some. They've been stirring the pot, and they got uh, we got the recipe for success. So wait for uh, fireworks in that's for sure. You posted something fun the other day. It was like a compilation of all your crazy Clay Guida moments in the octagon. It was kind of fun to go down memory lane. But I love the caption: "The best is yet to come." Are we gonna see that classic Clay Guida performance on Saturday? Hair flying, burping, all of the above. Oh, absolutely. Thanks to the UFC for actually putting that compilation together. That highlight was awesome. Brought back some old memories. They even uh, threw old Chuck Norris in there. That was pretty cool back in the strike force days. So you can definitely expect uh, the uh, the Qu Clay Guida of old, the carpenter, Captain Caveman in there to come in there and swing in these clubs. I can't <laughs> wait to get in there and dance. It's going to be awesome. Love it. We always see love seeing you on a card. Thank you so much, Clay. Best of luck to you. Thanks. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Laura. Yeah, it's fun, man. Clay's been around forever. You, okay, so he dropped a little bit of shade, though, didn't he, on that we're not fighting the Olympian below. Yeah, you know, like he said, he's fighting an inexperienced fighter. Uh, this isn't wrestling. When I, when I see guys tell me all the time, oh, I'm fighting a BJJ black belt. When you punch a black belt, he becomes a brown belt. When you punch a brown belt, he becomes a purple belt. Yeah. Same thing with him. He's a black belt in wrestling, but when you punch him, what is he going to do? He's going to start panicking, and that's what I think Clay's going to do, take advantage of that. KB, the man just did an interview with a fishing pole oh, with know. an American flag America. on it. It might have been, uh, been a cape on his back. Yeah, he had yeah, so yeah. much confidence right there with his fishing totally. pole and the American flag, the red, white, and blue. He was talking trash right there. He's feeling confident. He's at Team Alpha Male where they have a lot of wrestling right there. I like it. I like this is a kind of like a new, uh, a younger type of 39-year-old uh, Clay yeah, Guida yeah, right yeah, here yeah. saying you're going to see some of the old stuff out of him. I love it. Clay's feeling himself. But Mark O. Madsen, I, I, we shouldn't write him off, guys. And yes, he may be inexperienced, but he is 10 and 0, so he does have some experience. He's going to be putting that O on the line on Saturday night. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.